everyone, today is opening day of Ohana. It definitely is arguably the most popular restaurant here at Walt Disney World inside Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. It has been closed for an extremely long period of time and now it's open again and we're going to experience it first thing in the morning on opening day. Now when I say arguably one of the most popular restaurants at Walt Disney World, if we look on the calendar here, and the best way to make reservations is through the My Disney Experience app. That is the only way. I mean, you can try asking around if you like, but the best and only way is the My Disney Experience app. There's no way to change anything up there at the desk. So I actually have gone as far as I can go as of today, September 7th. 2021 for breakfast and for dinner and there is nothing available nothing every single reservation has been taken here at ohana and it appears that every single morning they all just sell out just like that yeah it's it's that popular and for good reason. Now we are here for breakfast at Ohana. First thing this morning, we're one of the first guests to go inside. Now we're here for breakfast this morning. We're actually one of the first guests to get in here because it's opening day and it's first thing in the morning. I can't wait to try it. Now dinner is the one I'm also looking forward to as well. We got a reservation for that. I'm looking forward to it, but breakfast today and I'm super excited. Today, David and I are gonna experience the reopening together. It's gonna be magical. One of our all time favorites. David, you excited? Oh yes. All right. So glad to be back though, let me I'm tell you. Oh yeah. And we've made it, we're here in Ohana. It feels so good, just look around. Yeah, just, I remember it, it's been so long though. You can even hear the Tiki Room music going as we're here. They've got that breakfast offering, which is $25 per adult, and you get your uh, different trays of food. They bring out big platters of food, and that's how it works. It's one of those very special, I love the music, it's throwing me off, but I love it. It's one of those very special, all you can enjoy breakfasts here at Ohana. I'm very excited about it. Our server Richard came around with this juice. It is delicious. It is a freshly squeezed, certain type of orange juice. It's delicious though. I think it's like passion fruit and orange juice. Mango is really, really good. In addition, they're going to start us off with fresh fruit and bread, and then they're going to bring us all the uh, meats, including, no, meats, I mean like eggs and bacon and all those delicious items that come with the all-you-can-eat. Some of the food has already arrived. We've got our fresh fruit platter here, which includes all sorts of cantaloupe and strawberry grapes. Pineapple looks amazing, including the pineapple coconut bread on the side as well. It all looks so good. Let's start digging in. Just had the pineapple coconut bread. Gotta tell you, it is outstandingly good, especially the top. It's like the, the top where it's actually the pineapple coconut part. Love that. Throughout, you do get a uh, chunks of pineapple in there, which I really do like. It just needs like this much butter, almost none at all. I really, really like that one. There's all sorts of good items here. We got the fruit for now. We're gonna get more of the protein momentarily. We enjoyed the first part of our breakfast here with the fruit and the bread, really good. And we're getting free refills of the juice, which is awesome. We uh, saw another guest order a smoothie. It looked super cool. And so we're actually gonna get the Moana smoothie, which is very unique. It has, it's a vanilla smoothie with flavors of watermelon, mango, guava, and ginger topped with whipped cream and edible flowers, and a Moana chocolate disc. That sounds amazing. We're actually gonna split this one up. Sure enough, our food has arrived. We've got the eggs, the bacon, the sausage, and those biscuits along with the potatoes, and that platter looks amazing. Remember, it's all you can eat, so we can ask for more and more until we're full. We've also got the Mickey waffles and the Stitch Waffle, super happy to see that. In addition, David and I got a very special drink, the Moana Smoothie Slushy here. It looks super, super good. It's one of the unique ones that they have here at Ohana for breakfast. Looking forward to giving this one a try. You can see Moana is right on top there. Cheers and bon appetit. So tried everything here at Ohana for breakfast. Gotta tell you, so good. The food is super good. The eggs, love how it's cooked. Really light and fluffy, I really like that. The potatoes, the wedge potatoes are fantastic. You've got the uh, waffle, which is, you know, Mickey waffle, stitch waffle, can't go wrong. The fluffy uh, biscuit, the, um, the ham was, it was okay, but everything else was absolutely incredible. The Moana, let's talk about the Moana slushy smoothie here. Y you're gonna wanna get that. You know me, I have high level expectations for my slushies. You're gonna wanna get that slushy. I'm not kidding. Absolutely delicious. Unbelievably fantastic, great fruity flavor throughout. Almost, imagine like bubble gum, but with like mango. So hard to describe this one. I love it. Thanks to the suggestion of our amazing server, Richard, this was a fantastic smoothie. Overall, the food was quite good. Did really enjoy how everything was cooked, I'd say. Almost everything, at least, was very high on my list in terms of how they went about preparing the different items. From the waffles and biscuits and those breaded items to the sausage and the potatoes with the crisp edges. I thought all of it was really beautifully done. A couple items weren't my favorites, but overall, great spot for breakfast. Most definitely something to consider if you're thinking about all-you-can-eat breakfast venues. I put this 
up there in the top tier. I didn't love the eggs so much because they were a little bit more runny than I'm used to. I'm not really a, a runny egg sort of person. I like a deeply cooked, like fried style of egg and the ham was maybe a bit more on the salty side in terms of that flavor, not as, as delicious and juicy, but overall quite good. I would say the Moana smoothie was delicious. Most definitely agree. It wasn't amazing to look at. When it got to the table, you're like, did I choose the right thing? But then you try it, delicious transition from that vanilla flavor to the tropical flavor. Most definitely could see getting that one again. Compared to the Wilderness Lodge Buffet, one of the other breakfast buffets that I can think of, I would say, I think that one had a great variety of food. This one, nowhere near as many options in terms of variety, but I did love how this food was cooked. So if you're looking for a variety, I'd say probably go for that one. I'm not sure which one I would pick above the other, but, uh, but they're quite different. This one being standard food items cooked quite well. So overall, Ohana for breakfast one, I definitely recommend. Yeah, it definitely meets all my expectations, and you know, I love the views all around. You can watch Magic Kingdom as you're looking out those windows. Love it. In addition to all the great food we have here, we're also gonna try the uh, plant-based dessert, the donut that comes with it. We, we had so much food, so much, but I wanted to try this donut because for those who like plant-based options at Ohana, I'll let you know what I think. Definitely not what I was expecting when I was uh, thinking about biting into that donut, but not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, wouldn't recommend going anywhere for that one, though. The, the rest of the food's great. The rest of the food, that's usually the plant-based option, but wanted to try it with you. Sweet, but um, almost a little, little chalky. Plant-based, a little chalky. Everything else, delicious. Now, today it's actually a super hot day, so I went a little bit of golfing and had fun there, and then I had to have, like, three giant things of water because that is how hot it is. Got my umbrella above me. It is super hot. That's uh, July at Disney for you. We're headed back now explore a bit more and then probably magic later. So I went back to Ohana, I was checking around asking friends what they're excited about, it was really good times. However, I found out from some very friendly cast members that it's not quite ready yet. Today's actually the first day, it's all open, we tried breakfast, it was good, but apparently the dinner, they're still working out some of the kinks. We'll be back here in about three days to try that dinner, looking forward to it, and by that point, all the kinks will be worked out, we'll have that final product to try. I'm very excited for that. But while we're waiting for that experience, let's head off to the Magic Kingdom. Take a look behind me. It looks like the pontoon boats are starting to come back here at the Polynesian Village Resort. That's cool. I'm looking forward to renting those once they return. Remember the mouse boats used to be all right here? They'll come back in time. Here at Starbucks, I often get that iced chai latte, which I love, but I'm trying something new. I'm looking at this list here. They got a really good one from the Boston, the uh, Iced Blonde Vanilla Bean Coconut Latte. 120 calories, not bad. I think we're gonna give that a try today. From Starbucks today, we're trying a brand new drink. It is the Iced Blonde Vanilla Bean Coconut Latte. Apparently only 120 calories in the whole thing. It's, it's pretty good. And maybe they don't mean a venti, but it's supposed to be healthier for you. Cheers. Not bad. Not bad. I'm, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to try things without needing a sweetness to it, but um, it's a slow process. Um, takes time, energy, consideration. You know, it's it's a slow process, but you know, it's not a bad drink. Not a bad drink. You definitely do taste the coconut in there. Um, not as strong of a flavor throughout. You know, you expect a stronger flavor throughout the whole thing. A very, very subtle flavor. Now there is another update here at Magic Kingdom, which I know may not mean a lot to everyone. I understand that, but I do want to let you know, you can no longer ask for, or you can ask, but you're going to be given a uh, tall cup of water instead of a venti or a Trenta cup of water. You can get as many as you want. So they're not limiting the amount of Starbucks water you can get. They're just trying to, my guess is reduce plastic waste. That's my guess. Um, but that is a big change. So for those who like to get the venti ice waters, which you know I do, and I enjoy them every time, it's now the paper cup. Again, I think it's plastic. Also, I'm sure it's a cost that's uh, in there as well, but yep, changes. Changes at Disney. New expression for you. If you went to Magic Kingdom and didn't go on the People Mover, did you really go to Magic Kingdom? I just love it. Ah, can't get enough. Now as we make our way around Tomorrowland, I can see the uh, Tron Light Cycle Power Run. They are making progress so fast, so incredibly fast. I mean, the, the overhanging yard area is just, it's coming along every single day with more of that netting on top. It's its like they add maybe, I'm gonna say 10, 
maybe 10, maybe even 20 of those nets every single day for the Tron Light Cycle Power Run. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions from friends recently about crowds here at Walt Disney World. Summer, it is uh, crowded, it's crowded. What would I give it out of 10 on an average day? I would say on an average day, it's probably around a six out of 10, maybe even, maybe a seven, but I think six is actually a good number. You say to yourself, Michael, after the 4th of July, crowds only a six? Yes, yes. The crowds look intense around the hub, especially for the fireworks, but the capacity, it still keeps it around a six to my eye. Some rumors have resurfaced about when this will be ready, and some people are saying 50th anniversary. I really don't think so. It would be great, it really would be, but I don't think so. Oh, I just saw one of the train tracks. You see that? I, I've been missing it. That, oh, we missed it again. That's where the train tracks are. You can actually see where it ends and then where it'll continue. That's cool. All right, so if you're looking for the train tracks, you hear a people mover, just as you exit Space Mountain, just as you exit, look to your left, as you make the turn, you'll see those train tracks. Cool. You know what? I gotta change what I said earlier. I said six out of 10, I'll give it a seven out of 10. That's the line for Buzz Lightyear behind me. Now that the fireworks are back here at Walt Disney World, there's been a lot of discussion about what is next to open up here. As I said that, just came across the plaza. Right across the way from Casey's Corner, the plaza ice cream is open again. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Since July 7th, finding that out. That is a great feeling. Here's the updated menu at the plaza ice cream parlor. They've got the bounty sundae ice cream float, the standard ice cream flavors as well. Include the, look at that, no sugar added raspberry sorbet. Ah, it all looks super good. Something small, we get something small today, but we've got to. Plaza reopening, oh, it's a must. It feels so good to get ice cream here at Walt Disney World again. It's Edie's ice cream and the mint chocolate chip. That's one of my favorites of the uh, Edie's that you can get here at Plaza. Just a single scoop today. It's delicious, absolutely delicious. With that cone, it is just barely starting to rain. So <laughs> we're walking and snacking on ice cream at the same time. That was the fastest I've ever eaten ice cream here at Walt Disney World before, but it was delicious, it was melting as I was walking, so I had to just like, you know, it's melting apart, so delicious, absolutely delicious. So glad the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor is open again. So going back to what I was talking about earlier, before we found out the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor is reopened, I didn't know until we walked over to it. Next thing I think that will probably reopen are, and my guess, this is just a guess, are the trams to and from the park, especially here at TTC. I feel like those are, <laughs> Pretty important. Trams are an integral part of the transportation and ticket center just because parking lot's so far away. I've noticed over time that the parking lots have been getting more and more crowded as the park capacity continues to increase. So I feel like trams here, more and most importantly, and I'm also thinking of Epcot and Animal Kingdom as well, Highwood Studios, that lot's been getting a lot more full too. Just every single time I go, I notice more and more cars fill the lots. So my guess is the trams are not too far behind, especially because we've got other forms of transportation that are currently running, but it really does vary because if you don't use your car, you don't really need it. I'm sure it's just like a calculation, like everything is. Such a fantastic day today. Thanks so much for joining me. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.